Autodesk Fusion presents wanting to change the appearance of your 3D model in Fusion 360? We've got you covered. In this tutorial, you will learn how to adjust, manage, edit, and remove physical materials and appearances. Hi, my name is Ty, the owner of the YouTube channel Learn It, and I'm happy to be working along with Autodesk Fusion to make this tutorial. As you can see on your screen, we have a really cool project. If you'd like to model this lamp, table, or LED light bulb yourself, please find the links to the videos on the Learn It channel in the description below. So if you have a model like the one that you see on your screen, you might want to spice it up with some more realistic appearances or even change the material properties to perform an analysis. Let's see how easy we can do this within Fusion 360. First, let's expand our assembly in our browser and look for our desk. There, when we right-click it, you can see that we can change the physical material and the appearance. So what's the difference? Well, to answer that, let's first talk about the physical material. This command lets you apply color and engineering properties to components and bodies. Let's click on the physical material of our desk to see its current properties. You can see that in this design, we only have steel. This means that everything we see in this project has the properties and appearance of steel. Let's close this dialog window for a moment and then let's left click desk again to see its physical properties. So here we have a host of information which tells us its mass, volume, center of mass, among many other things. But say we don't wanna know the ounce mass, but rather the mass in kilograms. The type of units can be selected in our browser by expanding document settings and then by changing our units. So let's change our active unit from inch to meter. Now, when we go back to our properties, we can see the mass in kilograms. Take note that our desk right now is just shy of 350 kilograms, which would obviously be a little too much for us to carry. So we need to change our physical material to change its engineering properties. Let's do that. Let's right click on our desk again, select physical material, and then search in our library under the wood grouping. Find something we like. For this example, uh, let's pick mahogany. Now we can just drag and drop it right onto our table. Just like that, our table's engineering properties and appearance changes. We can also now find that material in this design. Let's check our properties again and see its current mass. Ah, just shy of 80 kilograms now. Much easier to carry. Now that we know how to adjust the physical material, let's talk about appearance. The appearance command differs from physical material in that this command lets you apply color to components, bodies, and faces without affecting the engineering properties. While the engineering properties tell us a great deal of information about what we've designed, if we don't need that information, then we may just want to concern ourselves with changing the appearance of our model. For that reason, the appearance command has a shortcut. As you can see, by right-clicking on desk and hovering over appearance, we see that the keyboard shortcut is A. We can also right-click on the desk itself, and there we have appearance and A. So for the rest of this tutorial, we'll simply just press the letter A on our keyboard to bring up our appearance dialog box. In our appearance library, you will find it very similar to our physical material library, but you can see that we can select whether we will apply the appearance to bodies or components or even to individual faces. We also find that we have a search bar too. Because we have already changed the physical material to mahogany for our desk, you can see that our appearance has changed also. We have a ton of different kinds of appearances that we can add to our project. Just look down here in the bottom of our dialog box. I personally have encouraged my students of Fusion 360 to just have fun in searching through the library to see all the different options that are there. At this point, we can quickly add all of our various kinds of appearances to our project, after which we will edit them to adjust the finer aspects within our design. For the legs, I'll pick wood, solid, and then painted, and then 3D maple painted. If you see an arrow beside any of the appearances, you'll just need to click on it to download it from the cloud. Let's add 3D maple painted to each of our legs. Here we can just drag and drop to each individual component, or if we know where it is in our browser, we can simply just drag and drop it right onto our assembly or components. And we'll go keep. 
I personally like this appearance because it has a wood grain to it. Now, if we don't like a particular color, we can edit it simply by right clicking our appearance and then clicking edit. So here, instead of this yellowish color, say we'd like to have a more brown color. So I'm just gonna scroll down there on our color scroll and find a darker brown color, which I like. Well, there we have it. Let's go done. And now let's do the same thing with our tabletop. We're gonna right click and go edit. And here we have a host of new information which we can change. First of all, let's zoom in here and look at what scale does. You can see that we can scale in and we can scale out. As we scale out, you'll actually notice that it is a tile image and just repeats itself throughout the table, which is clearly not what we want. And we'd also like to change the rotation here, perhaps maybe 90 degrees to make it look more realistic. We can also change the roughness and the reflectance if we like, or go to the advanced menu, and we can see that there are a host of other options that we can change if we so desire. So let's go apply and finish our tabletop. Now for the black pipes of the lamp, let's apply steel rough. Let's find it first by searching in our library, steel, and here we have my appearances or Fusion 360 appearance library. Let's expand that and we'll find steel rough. Now the reason why I like steel rough is because it actually applies a texture which makes it more realistic, especially for renders. Let's just drag and drop this into our design. Now it stands ready in order to be applied to any component or body or face within our design. So here we can just drag and drop to each individual component. However, if we know all of our components within our browser, we can simply just click the first, click all of them by holding down shift, and we can also hold down command or control to select anything else that we'd like included. Now I can just drag and drop and it will apply that appearance to all of the components which we just selected. Now for this, I like the dark black color of black pipe. You can also get galvanized pipe, but I personally like the black color itself. So we're gonna go to edit and change the color to be much darker. So here we're gonna adjust our RGB values to 100, 100, and 100, which is now a much darker color. And as we zoom in here, you can see that we have a slight texture, which definitely adds to the realistic nature of our black lamp design. We can also go edit and change the scale if we want. We can make it finer or much bigger, but obviously if we go too big, it won't look very realistic. So let's keep it around 50 and say done. Now let's change the appearance of our cable gland, cable and lamp socket too. For our cable gland, let's select plastic textured regular. And here we can just drag and drop right to our cable gland. Now for our cable, let's add silicone white. And we can just drag and drop that right on our cable. And now for our lamp socket, let's add a brass appearance to it. And let's call it polished brass. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that right into our browser. And let's go close. So now comes the fun part. Let's change the appearance of our LED light bulb. I'm gonna right click on that assembly and select isolate. So here it looks like a solid body, but if we expand our assembly, we can see that there are many components to this. So let's pull up our appearance menu and we're gonna search for glass first of all. And let's scroll down to glass clear and just drag and drop right on the bulb. And you can see there's a whole lot more going on in the inside of our LED light bulb here. Now let's make this even more realistic. We're gonna bring up nickel and we're going to apply this to our support wires, to our cap. And for the cap, we're actually gonna change just this little part right here, which is gonna be some insulation. And we're going to select in our library, plastic glossy. And instead of applying it to our entire body, let's select faces and now we can drag and drop it just to that individual face. And there we have it. And I'll probably do this face as well. There we go. There's actually a piece of insulation on the inside. Let's isolate that as well. We'll go close, isolate. And for this, let's press A as our shortcut and we'll type in white and look for plastic white glossy and we can drag and drop it on that as well. Go close and we can go unisolate. That will bring up everything and then we can 
isolate our LED bulb once again. Now the last thing that we want to do is apply an appearance to our actual LEDs. And for that, we can just hide everything else and we're just left with our LEDs now. So for this, let's pull up our appearance dialog window and we're gonna type in LED. So the really cool thing about Fusion 360 is that when we select LED for our appearance, it actually will add a luminance value to it. So it will actually create a level of brightness within our renders, which create a really natural and realistic lighting effect. So you can see here are actually ones that I've already made ahead of time, but why don't we just go to, let's add LED red to start. So I'm gonna add that. And again, to add it to all of them, we can just select one, two, three, four, and add that red LED to all of them. Now, if we've seen these LED light bulbs at our local home center, we know that they're usually not red, uh, but rather a yellow color. So we can right click on that individual appearance and let's go edit and let's change it here. We're gonna actually call it LED yellow. And now let's change the color of it. Here within our color palette, we can simply just change it and try and find the right color. Or we can just type in an RGB value if we have it. And in this case, I'm gonna type in 255, 236, and 63. The roughness we're gonna keep at 0.179, our reflectance at 0.053, but our luminance, we're gonna create a much brighter luminance here at 12,000. Now, if we wanna know what the luminance actually is, let's go to advanced and just hover over under emissivity. And if we hover over the actual value there, it says specified in candelas per meter squared. So here you can see that the actual color of our LED is the base color of the material. However, our filter color, here it influences the actual light color that comes from that LED. In Mac, we can actually click on our color here and I'm gonna drag and drop it and save that color. Let's go okay. And just do the same thing over here and I can apply that color and there we have it. Let's go apply. And now this still isn't done. I'd like to add a nickel appearance to the terminals of our LEDs. So there I'll click faces and here I can just capture everything and drag and drop the nickel. And we'll do that for each of them. At this point, we've applied all of our appearances to all of our components, to our whole assembly, and now we can get ready to render our project. We have just a couple bonus tips before we finish. But before that, if you've benefited from this tutorial, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and make sure to head on over to the Learn It channel for more tutorials, which will help you continue your learning of Fusion 360. So for our bonus tip, let's click on your profile preferences, and material to change the default materials if you'd like. Also, in appearances, right-click on the individual appearances to add to my appearances or favorites to access them easily in other projects. So thanks so much for learning with Autodesk Fusion and the Learn It channel. See you again soon in our next tutorial.